Norway has the most amazing landscape I've ever seen, even compared to the whole United States. Uh, it's maybe Alaska, but you know, I don't even think Alaska would compare to this. It's absolutely spectacular. It was exciting to fly in for the first time and see all the mountains. I, I had no, it's like a, a field of mountains in Norway. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're actually in Norway. <laughs> I can't. It's just too unreal. I really believe that Norway is the most beautiful country I've ever seen. And I'm not saying that because I'm Norwegian. I really, really do think it's the most beautiful country. It's, it's incredible. It's amazing. It was beautiful. It was the Colorado mountains with the Long Island water. It was the perfect combination of just heaven. For me, it was... Uh, kind of touching because it was kind of like I've been there before. It was pretty amazing to be able to land on just that big giant boat, you know, in the beautiful fjords. It was it's just, it's hard to even describe how amazing that was. Welcome to Norway. <laughs> <laughs> many, many years ago, your ancestors left this country. And now you're finally here for the very first time. All right. How does it feel? Yes. It's fantastic to have you all here. You're here to discover your Norwegian roots and to unite with your Norwegian relatives. And we have found them all for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> when Henrietta told us that they had found our living relatives, having her say that right there in the spot in Norway, Knowing that they were not very far away, it was really quite overwhelming, and I'm, it makes me really excited to meet them. The catch is that only one of you actually will be able to meet your Norwegian family. The good thing is that this week, nobody will go back to the States. <laughs> what will happen today is that you will attend a crash course in being Norwegian. But first, I would like to welcome you, true Norwegian style, so please help yourself to some coffee and lefse. Yeah. <laughs> I love lefse so much. I mean, that's probably my favorite thing to eat in the whole world. I feel like I could eat that for every meal for like years and never get sick of it. I love it. It's like, I think it's the best thing ever invented. Do you dunk the lefse? No. no she's not dunking I've never donut. heard of that. <laughs> no. Would that be, be crazy if I did it? Try, Try it. Tell us what it's like. And dunk it, dunk, dunk it. Oh, I really like it. I'm against mm -hmm. the dunk. I think that's a new tradition. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got how many for the dunk and how many not for the dunk? No. Keith Lefse Pierre. Keith Lefse Pierre. Keith Lefse Pierre. Keith Lefse Pierre. I'm going to call Nana. 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 I'm going it's uh, God's country. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. Doesn't get any better than this. No, it sure does not. Look at that farm right there, you guys, up on the hill. Yeah. Do you think it's really a farm or it's just somebody's property? Because I don't see how they could. Yeah, that can't be a farm. There's nothing to farm. This is so beautiful. <laughs> is this a fjord? Norway is beautiful. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, seeing it from the boat, seeing the fjords, seeing the water, the weather, everything, it was. I mean, I really had to pinch myself because I thought it was in a dream. Om bord på hurtigruteskipet Midnatt Sol skal amerikanerne få den første delen av det norske introduksjonskurset. En skoletime i det norske språket, naturligvis ledet av Petter Skjerven. Hei! Hei! Velkommen til timen. Welcome to class. My name is Petter Skjerven, and I'm going to teach you a Norwegian language. What do you know about Norwegian language? <laughs> nothing? Nothing at all? My mom made me memorize a line before I came over here. Nai ayika snukka norsk. I can say skull, <laughs> which I hope to say many times in Norway. <laughs> I don't know any Norwegian. I've seen, um, I think it's tukin tas. Tukin tas. Tuskin talk, which I is thank you very much, I think. <laughs> and that's the extent of my Norwegian vocabulary. The Norwegian language is so much fun. It just sings like bum 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 And everyone who speaks is just so beautiful that you can't help but just go, yeah. 
Normänna som utvandrade till Amerika tog inte bara med sig sina norska vaner, mattraditioner och kultur. De brakte också med sig det norska språket och på begynnelsen av 1900-talet pratade en miljon norska amerikanere norsk. 3000 kyrkor höll gudstjänsterna sina på norsk och 600 000 husholdningar abonnerade på norska aviser. Idag är er naturligt nog norsken i färd med att dö ut i USA och antalet norsktalande amerikanere är er nere i 80 000. Well, it's uh, some basic rules you have to know. Rule number one: never talk to strangers. Norwegians are very afraid of strangers. But if if you have to talk to strangers against your will, then it's point uh, number two. Then that, that's uh, talk about the weather. Norwegians' favorite topic. Repeat after me. Fint vær i dag. Fint vær i dag. I think it's funny that Norwegians don't say hi to strangers in Long Island. You just say hi to anybody who you think is cute, and it's usually a good starting point to meet a new boyfriend. Okay, then you can open your books. Amerikanerna har fått utdelt hver sin bok med forslag til setninger og uttrykk som kan være nyttige når man skal snakke med nordmenn. Let's try some of the most frequent phrases. Uh, we can start with uh, you, uh, Tom. Roy at the gar sabra ver om dagen. At det går så bra med håndballjentene om dagen. Oh my god. I think Norwegian's very, very difficult. It's just so many different sounds and <laughs> of treating. It's really tough. <laughs> you have to practice, okay? okay. So just go together and practice two and two, okay? Okay. Jeg vet ikke helt om jeg leker han Peter Northug no Sorling. Sorling. I think Norwegian is very difficult to learn because at least in Spanish you pronounce every letter. In Norwegian you have letters that don't even exist in the English uh, language. Sorling. Sorling. Everything is just a guess for me, so I just kind of sing along and sound like this when I speak. Nine men are hard. Well, good. Talk to place Shida. Good. Good. Perfect. What's more? Nine men are very good. Up for Shida. Nine men are hard. Well, good. Talk to place Shida. Nay, man, the dog, ja, na, paski, no, da. I have a lead person. My friend Trigva. Trigva. Trigva wrote down some words for me. Um, so I'm wondering how to pronounce how to pronounce these words in uh, Norwegian. Good ad. Good ad today, so you have. Two or two have Americans now over the stun for their conversation in Norsk. What do you think about Strömfrysen now on the day? No, 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 no. Nå er det snart på tide å praktisere kunnskapen de har tilegnet seg. Hei, hei alle sammen. Hei, hei. Var det gøy? Hei, hei. Hei, hei. hei, hei. <laughs> ok, guys. Now we're arriving Ålesund port. And that means it's time to put your knowledge into use. <laughs> you are going to spread out through Ålesund center and you're going to talk to the Norwegians in Norwegian. <laughs> and you have to try to make the conversations last as long as possible. <laughs> Jogenbyen Ålesund viser seg fra sin beste side når hurtigruta legger til kai. Her blir amerikanerne kastet rett inn i sin nye norske tilværelse, når de nå må snakke med lokalbefolkningen på deres eget språk. Men først må de finne noen som er villige til å snakke med dem. Kan jeg snakke med deg? Kan jeg snakke med deg? Hva tror du? Good day. Hei, hei. The thing I remember most about our Norwegian language class was that the teacher said that Norwegians don't like to talk to strangers, and that seemed to be very true. They really don't like strangers very much, and I think they dislike cowboy hats even more. Nobody wants to talk to us. Why does nobody want to talk to us? Hello there. Um, are you Harry Fra? What? Are you Harry Fra? No. Oh, no. Scottish. Oh! Oops, never mind. 
<laughs> He's Scottish. Amerikanerna är er i Ålesund för att försöka få igång en samtale på norsk med tillfälliga sundmöringar de möter på gatan. Jag heter Saskia. Um, vad heter du? Jag heter Lena. Lena. Let me see. Wait one second. I think if my survival depended on my ability to speak Norwegian, I'd probably be dead in about a week. Jag vill ha ett small board med dina bara small och silla toy. She just looked at me like, yeah, and <laughs> I'm sure you guys are getting a kick out of this. We're just uh, murdering the language, but hey, come on, one day, I feel like we're doing pretty good. <laughs> yes, good. Yeah. Uh, guitar. <laughs> yeah. Um, you gonna do uh, guitar? Yeah. Uh, I speak that much Norwegian. <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just can talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I actually like had a little bit of a conversation. Unshin, can do yelpai my veras now. My strategy when I met out, went out to meet Norwegian people to speak the, the language was to just smile and hope that they were going to be patient with me. Have I have a hat or do? Sanda. Oh, Kimi. Oh. Second fin Jack did dear where are do cube then. I fick låna den av mor hemma. Oh. <laughs> that was awful. Thankfully, they were just uh, willing to listen to me, and I was just so grateful for it. Come to here, sir. We are nesten. We are coming from a little further out. Okay. Can you snap it longer? Yeah, that can I've been studying our Norwegian language class where I work at Saint Olaf College. So I take I've taken a semester and a half of the beginning. Um, Norwegian class. That's actually how I heard about this show was through that, and I'm glad. So that makes me really glad that I that I took the class. I Ålesund har amerikanerne møtt litt motstand når de har testet egne norskkunnskaper. I have trouble because I couldn't respond to their answer yes. at all. Yeah. So I was just like, da-da! <laughs> de har likevel gjort en hederlig innsats, og som belønning skal de få servert en norsk klassiker. Glöggen kan så kake. Klenzakaka, Klenzakaka, Klenzakaka. The the glug and Klenzakaka was uh, was delicious. It was a great treat. The Klenzakage was delicious. I could have ate the whole thing. It was, looked like donuts, and it tasted even better. The, the glug was I liked it a lot, um, and the uh, the Klenzakage. <laughs> yeah, the cake was tasty also. <laughs> Mm, okay, that's the best that thing I've had so far. Yeah. That is good. That remind it tastes like almond. Mm. The crumbs of cacao was fun because well, first of all it tasted delicious and the crumbs of cacao was fun because they had little presents attached to it that if you pull it they blew up like a firecracker and then there was really bad jokes inside. I loved that. That was so cool. Jag har en tante som har så stora påsar under orna att hon brukar bröda med Beha. Okay, I have an aunt who has such large bags under her eyes that she needs glasses with, I don't know what BH stands for. The glug and the kransakraka were a highlight and it was a great way to finish our long day um, on the boat. Efter en god natts søvn är er det nå på tide för amerikanerna att sätta till livs sin första norske frukost. Oh my god. Only thing that I think is weird that I've seen about Norwegian so far is that they eat all that food from tubes. What are you supposed to do with it? Do you put it on bread or something? Why do you have bacon in a tube? But why do you have fish in a tube? That's, that's something I don't understand. It's, 
why all the food is in a tube. Thank you. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Shrimp in a tube. Did you see that? <laughs> That's great. I used caviar toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> wait, did you try the caviar? I tried everything that I could get my hands on. I, I had lots of different fish. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> There was all sorts of crazy stuff and tubes, and I'm still not sure what everything was. This is traditional Norwegian food. <laughs> <laughs> I took a, a lefsa and put everything I could find in front of me on it, and and chowed that down, and it was kind of brutal. <laughs> all right. Can I try some too? Kid, in a cage? What's silt? Silt? That means like jam. Or River bottom. Yeah, it's definitely not jam. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy the Norwegian frokost. Uh, it's pretty meat heavy and fish heavy, which I like all of that, but I think a few people struggled. <laughs> the mackerel in the tomato sauce stuff, I really didn't care for. I tried everything at breakfast today. I really did not like the shrimp salad. But oh my god, no, the aftertaste is so oh, bad. Oh yeah, that's a little different. Wow. Some things I struggled with, there's no doubt, but it was, uh, uh, put it this way, I didn't eat as much as I normally do. <laughs> oh my, 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 my. I think Dakota was avoiding the whole thing by being as quiet as possible. I mean, you could see that there was um, a piece of bread on his plate and he'd just eaten out the inside. So he was like this two-year-old. That was kind of funny. I'm just not a breakfast person. Dakota, seriously, do you need to try this? We all did it. Yes, yes. There you go. I really want to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what the cowboy. Let's see how the cowboy handles it. Great. You didn't even chew it. He just swallowed you it. He just swallowed it. <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> I'm a tough guy. That's okay. My favorite thing was the brown cheese and the bread because your bread is delicious. Norwegian bread is the best bread I've ever had in my life. Every single type of bread I've had, it's like you don't even want to put anything on it to ruin it. Mm -hmm. I liked the Norwegian breakfast. Everything I tried, I liked more than I thought I would. I even liked the Liverpool style, which I thought was gonna be nasty. So I was favorably, I, I liked the Norwegian breakfast. It, I approve. <laughs> Hi. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now it's time for the next part of the Norwegian crash course. Great. You guys are going on a hike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that means you have to repack into backpacks. Okay. And remember to pack only what you find necessary. But you also have to bring this. <laughs> Tonight's dinner. Oh, okay. Potatoes? Yes, potatoes. Norge er et puttigt land. Det har vi varit helt siden mitten av 1700-tallet, da potetplanten nådde oss fra Sør-Amerika via Spania. I norsk jord ble poteten raskt et viktig alternativ til korn. Poteten tålte bedre regn og kulde, den vokste lettere i den skrinne jorda, og den kunne høstes tidlig. Det er særlig prestene vi kan takke for at poteten ble så populær i Norge. Mange av dem skjønte nemlig raskt hvor verdifull poteten var. De promoterte den ivrig fra prekestolen, de satte poteter i prestegårdshagen, og kunnskapen tok de med seg fra ett sogn til det neste. Deltakerne får utdelt klær som passer til den norske naturen. Oh, I have long johns and they're red. I tillegg kan de ta med seg det som får plass i sekken av det de har tatt med seg fra USA. I wish I could bring everything, but uh, let's see. Are we going to encounter snow? I brought my knitting. I'm working on the matching mittens, so I had to bring that as well. I think we have a really interesting and fun and different group of people that have been thrown together, and it's really fun seeing how everybody has so completely different personalities. Extra pair of underwear. Never know when you're going to need an extra pair of underwear. Probably going to travel light. It doesn't make sense to be backpacking across a bunch of stuff that you really don't need. It's just going to be more weight on your back. I have my eyelashes. I have bags and bags of eyelashes. I also brought jewelry, because I think it's really important to have cute ex accessories no matter what you're doing. I just tried to bring a lot of different accessories, though I, I could just always 
you know, spice things up and put some color in an outfit. And I even brought some extra hats in case other people weren't bright enough. I thought if I got hiking boots and I didn't like the color of the laces, I brought some options to replace the laces. Amerikanerna er nå klare for en klassisk fottur i norsk natur. De har også fordelt de 15 kilone med poteter de har fått beskjed om å ta med. Jeg ville ta alle av dem, fordi jeg trener veldig mye for skiing og løpning tilbake hjem. Så jeg ville mer av en workout, men jeg tror det var mer norsken å spre litt ut, heller enn å ta dem alle. Dere ser ut som norske norskehikere. Perfekt! Du gjør det virkelig. Hva gjorde du med poteter? Yeah, you split them up. Yeah. So all of you are carrying potatoes? No. No, <laughs> no not you, Shanna. No, um, Maddie wanted an extra workout, so I let him carry my potatoes. Okay, Maddie. We're potato slaves. You stand out like a real man. <laughs> yes. Real Norwegian. Good. <laughs> real Norwegian. That's very good. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, now uh, you're going to follow that path. And then I'll meet you at the end. På goda, ja. Utenfor Ålesund. God tur! Lykke til! Turen amerikanerne nå begir seg ut på er opp mot Storhorne, som gir en fantastisk utsikt ut over Sunnmørskysten. Jeg var uksettet om å komme opp i mountene og gå på en hike. Alle sa at jeg er så glad vi er på en hike. Vel, ikke bare Shana, men alle andre. My friends would be shocked that I actually went hiking because that's not something I would typically do. <sighs> okay, that's, that's like the hard. hardest workout I've ever had. That was five minutes, honey. <laughs> the hike was so much fun. Unfortunately, I was next to Shauna. This is really hard. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Shauna never went on a hike before, so I spent most of my time waiting for her and to help her carry, uh, her, take her hands and take her up this, uh, the hike. I think my grandma who's 96 would be doing a better job on the hike than I am. <laughs> I definitely did not get the athleticism of my Norwegian ancestors. <laughs> I can't even enjoy the scenery because I'm too busy hiking. <laughs> I thought the scenery was stunning. It's like something I've never seen before. I've never, I mean, back where I live, there's great mountains, but not mountains and then ocean and then just the ships and everything. So I couldn't really take my eyes off the scenery. Oh, what a sight. Woo. Wow. That looks be in it? Okay. That was a workout, Tom, awesome. huh? That was a good workout. <laughs> um, you were you're I, that's doing the hardest awesome. workout I've ever been on. <laughs> I don't understand why people would ever hike. You're doing a great job. Seriously. We made it to the top and it's beautiful. It's so pretty and the grass is really squishy here. I swear it's squishier than in California. I felt like we were hiking in Lord of the Rings or something like that. I expect a hobbit to pop out somewhere. I saw Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will believe it if I don't have the pictures. <laughs> you really know we did. It's gorgeous out here. This yeah. weather is just beautiful. Cheers to that. Cheers. I already put it away, but I'll put my fist. Boink. <laughs> the views were absolutely beautiful. And at one point, when I was sitting on the ledge, I was missing my dad because I was really hoping the first time I went to Norway, I could go with him. And he's alive and well, and we will go. Um, but I was really wishing my dad was here to look at it with me. Amerikanerne har fortsatt flere oppgaver foran seg, og har derfor begynt på turen ned fra Storhornet. On the way down the mountain, I was walking behind Luli, and as she stepped down, she stepped onto the ridge of a rock, and her ankle went snap this way and snap that way, um, and she hurt herself. Oh, Santa Maria! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dossie's not good. <laughs> oh, no! Dossie's not good. Yeah. The worst thing that could possibly happen on this trip would be an injury that would take me out. A mistake. Some kind of a crazy mistake. That was scary. Yeah, it was. I don't quit, but if my body quits on me, 
You know, you gotta respect that, because you gotta use the body for the rest of your life. Okay. Let's fix up that ankle, huh? All right. So you know what you're doing? Oh, yeah. You just tell me if it's too tight or not, all right? What, back in Nam, he had to do this? Paul and Suskiu were great. They, uh, Paul immediately just, you know, took over. You notice how nobody's come back to see if we're OK? I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll be, if we're here any longer, they'll be coming back. <laughs> Efter Lulis uhell har amerikanerna blivit splittet och nu ankommer den första gruppen målet för turen Alnes 4. To be honest, I wish the hike was a bit longer. If it was up to me, I would have went higher and longer cuz I like getting a little bit more tired. I wonder if they're still up there. Well, being they're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Men om sidor kommer också baktroppen satt i 4. Hey guys. You okay? Lily's awesome. So, luckily she's doing all right now. I'm glad. I'm, I I didn't want to see her get hurt. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't hurt much. It's just it's fine. Nå som alla amerikanerna är er väl framme, är er det på tide att avslöja varför de har drasset med sig 15 kilo poteter. Welcome to Alnes 4. Thank you. And well done, guys. Yeah. Now we all know what a real Norwegian footer feels like. How did it feel? It was, it was good. 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 Hard. Satisfying. Good. A little yeah. painful. Satisfying. Yeah, Lily. I heard that you twisted your ankle. I did. What happened? Well, we had a lot of rocks up there, and I misjudged. Okay. <laughs> I see. Now it's time for the last part of the Norwegian crash course. And this is a Norwegian traditional dish called uh, potetball, or kumle, or raspeball, or klubb, or kompadøs, or, yeah. I really had no idea what it was. It looked like watered up glue paste or something. I thought that maybe I was going to eat like an octopus brain or something. You already got the potatoes. Yeah. Yes. So in the kitchen you'll find the recipe and the rest of the ingredients to make uh, 24 potato All right. When we brought the potatoes along, I thought we might be making something, but I didn't have any idea what. Da må vi først starte med å skrelle potetene. Og uh, kanskje du har lyst til å, å skrelle potetene. Mm -hmm. Og du kan begynne her å raspe. Mm -hmm. It was fun making the potato balls because we got to see how it's done, and I'm sure that um, Annalisa, the cook, was a pro at them. Oh, yeah. yes. Wait, why is this so difficult? Because it's a terrible potato peeler. Is that, is that really? <laughs> yeah, I'm going away. You know why it's a terrible peeler is because you guys it's haven't taken the plastic on it. off. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, miraculous. It's weird, I don't cook, but I liked being in the kitchen because I guess I just like making things and creating things with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery little potato. I'll start with another. <laughs> we call it Klub in, in North Dakota. This stuff's so good though, I've had it before. It's a little smaller when we make it, but I do love it. With lots of butter, it's the only way to go. Potetballene er endelig ferdige. Men våra amerikanska vänner aner ännu inte att vi självföljligt har tillbehör till och synes där med den kulinariska upplevelsen är er nog så märklig. If that's traditional Norwegian food. Oh my god. I can't imagine that that's what Norwegians normally eat. I wasn't too intimidated by the potato cuz normally the food I eat doesn't look that good, but it tastes okay, so um, I can't wait to eat it. This is great beer. <laughs> is that how it's supposed to taste? It's just potatoes and flour and maybe salt. And I don't like them at all. They're just really boring and they're like eating a rock. I'm here to meet my family and whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Hi, guys. Hi. Are you enjoying your potato bowl meal? I have to admit that I left out a small piece of information before. What was that? <laughs> oh, what? An important thing to remember putting together a nice potato bowl meal is adding all the good stuff. <laughs> oh no, what's the <laughs> There's yeah. more? Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. 
When Henrietta said she was coming in with something else to eat, I thought it was either gonna be something really nasty or something really good. I assumed some sort of sheep part or something. Oh. She comes in with oh, horns no. on her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my goodness, look at this. Oh, oh. Mm. oh. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what is it? It looks like raw <laughs> intestines. Oh, oh no, 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 that's no, not no. raw. No, he's not raw. This is bacon fried in Just butter. Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> this is called the nectar of the gods, right here. <laughs> okay, guys, please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> then you can say tusen and tak. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. bye. Bacon and butter. I love butter. I could eat a whole stick of butter. Oh. Amazing. Potato pal was delicious. I could not believe how good that was. I would think if it came to America, it'd be really popular. I cannot believe that we don't have that in the United States. I'm completely in shock that we don't have that there because it's so good. That's really good. That's how I could identify the aroma in the past. This is so good. It's just too good to describe. It's just so good. So I love them. Potetballmiddagen var den sista delen av införingskurset i att vara norsk. Men fortsatt har amerikanerna en liten överraskelse i vente. It is now time for the Norwegian Spirit Award. A prize handed out to the one of you that has shown exceptional Norwegian sportsmanship and good spirit. And the one that receives it will not be eliminated next week. Wow. Mm. This week I really wish I could give the prize to two of you. But um, unfortunately, there's only one of you that can receive the award. When Luli twisted her ankle, the two of you did everything you could to help her. So, the Norwegian Spirit Award this week goes to... Paul. I, I, I did what you know you know anyone would do you know I mean just help her out but that, that, you know what that was that was cool to get recognized for that and uh, that uh, puts a smile on my face I think it's really cool <laughs> I got the troll I'm safe for a week and uh, it's a good thing for the rest of you this is where the competition really begins mm -hmm. next week one of you will be the first to leave Alt for Norge and go back to the United States. I'm a little nervous about the competitions. I mean, I don't, I just, I just really don't want to leave this place. I love Norway. I'm going to give it everything I have. <laughs> I want to stay in Norway as long as I can. Thinking about meeting my Norwegian family is really touching for me. And, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Neste uke skal amerikanerne til Finse for å vise at de, som ekte nordmenn, er født med ski på beina. I hate being on skis. This is not for me. Oh, no.